Hi. We've spent two weeks together now, praying together each day. Um, sometimes doing creative stuff, sometimes praying quietly. And actually I found that praying together actually encourages me and helps me to do that. And communicating with others who are doing the same stuff also really helps to keep me going on this sort of thing. Um, and this is actually what part of what church is about. But what do we think of when we think of church? Do we think of a big, impressive building? Do we think about the building on Filton Avenue? Do we think about the morning service at Orchard School? Do we think about sitting around a computer or a television on a Sunday morning having our elevensies? Or just some other time? But the thing is, none of this is actually what church is about. None of this is church. Part of our church vision at the moment comes from Isaiah 58 verse 12. You'll reuse the rubble of old past lives to build anew, rebuild the foundation from out of your past. You'll be known as those who can fix anything. Restore old ruins, rebuild and renovate, make the community livable again. That's the message version. Our vision has come from this. It talks of living our lives, of building God's kingdom. Jesus used another passage, from, also from Isaiah, from Isaiah 61, to express this for his life. He said, The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness for the prisoners. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. A couple of verses later, it says, They will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations. Jesus saw this as being his mission, and that was what he taught his disciples to do. Both of these passages emphasise care for the lost, the broken, the poor, the grieving, the hurting. And they ask us as his people to rebuild, repair or renew and restore. And then they promise us the ability and the resources to do that. It's not about rebuilding a church building. It's about rebuilding a community of God's people. It's not about restoring the church to the position of influence it once had in this country. It's about restoring the people around us to a living relationship with God. It's not about repairing our image, but about renewing our relationship with this world in such a way that we demonstrate God's love and bring his kingdom here on earth as in heaven. So how can we build his kingdom? I suppose it's starting where Jesus did, bringing God's kingdom individually and then do that together. In Luke 4, Jesus said, The Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. So let us pray today that this is actually something we will do individually and together. That's what church is, and that that is what will rebuild, restore and repair that which has been devastated, and in some cases that's for generations.